Hey you guys, I have a really quick word, just real quick. I just seen the Lord walk up to these big, huge gates, like those big steel gates. I have this vision, God just gave me this vision. And he, there was a big, huge lock with a big, huge chain on it. And he was unlocking the lock. And he, threw, he swung open these gates and he started taking his hand and just tell and telling people, come, come through the gate. People were, God's people were pouring into this gate. Just hundreds and thou, they were just pouring in. And then I seen that all of a sudden you've seen all this green land and this just, it was all green and plush. And we were in the land of milk and honey, the land of blessings. <clears throat> and the Lord wants me to tell you that you are coming into that place of blessings, miracles, answered prayer. God says people are going to be healed of sickness, diseases, cancer. You're going to, you're going to, you're, he just opened the gate for you to flood in to the land of milk and honey where all of his blessings are, all of his miracles are. <clears throat> and the Lord just wanted me to tell you that. It was just a quick word. I, I, I seen him walk up to the gate. He unlocked it and all of his people just flooded into this gate. And it was just really miraculous. And the Lord wants you to know that he did not forget about you. He knows your need. He knows what he knows what you need. He knows what you're going through. He knows the pain that you've been dwelling in, uh, the disappointment, the weariness, the fear, the loneliness, the despair, the betrayal, um, the betrayal of family and friends, the abandonment. God knows you've been abandoned by people that you thought loved you and cared for you, and they have all completely abandoned you. But the Lord wants you to know that God literally and actually removed those people from your life because he knows they're not going to be with you in the end and where God is going to take you. So actually it was a blessing in disguise. And so the Lord wanted me to tell you that you all are coming into that place where you are going to experience the land of milk and honey and God is going to release heaven upon you, release miracles upon you, release those prayers that you've been praying. And the Lord says many of you have been praying those prayers for many, many years, even a, dec a decade, some even 15 years. And God says, I am releasing that prayer, those prayers that you've been praying God is literally releasing those to you in the name of Jesus. And God wants you to know that he's on your side, that he's with you. He's been with you in time of trouble. He's been with you in time of just being alone and feeling like you've tried to endure the, these hardships by yourself. And the Lord says that no longer are you, are you going to be experiencing that hardship no longer are you not going to be able to pay that bill. You're not, no longer you're going to not be able to pay that mortgage payment. No longer are you not going to be able to get your car fixed or get a new car. But God has released his people through the gate into the land of milk and honey. And the Lord wants to bless your life. And God is with you. He is for you. He is not against you, says the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says many of you have given up. You, you felt hopeless and helpless, and you've even given up hope in the season. And God said, get ready because you're getting your hope back. You're getting your joy back. You're going to uh, get everything that the enemy meant for harm, where the enemy wanted to destroy you, where he wanted to steal from you, and where he wanted to kill you. God says it is coming back to you uh, some a hundred fold, sorry, some a hundred fold, some 200 fold, some 500 fold, even a thousand fold, says the Spirit of the Lord. All right, you guys, be blessed, and I hope you have an amazing day. And just know that God is 
for you. He is not against you. And God is going to bring those people into your life that are going to bless you, that are going to love you, honor you, respect you, adorn you. They're, they're just going to be exactly the people that you need in this season. And God says you're not going to be alone. You're not going to be abandoned. You're not going to be left for dead. And the Lord says he's coming for you right now in this season, says the Spirit of the Lord. All right, you guys, be blessed. Have an amazing day. Love you.